Well, we're only at halfway stage now of the competition and it's important that we really look to build that momentum. We grabbed a little win on the weekend there uh, with some brilliance from Kieran Pollard. And uh, we look to just keep building and hopefully we see where we're at at the end of it. There's still a lot of cricket to be played. There's a lot of games left. So I know that the Lions are sitting pretty at the top. But like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of games left. Uh, we just got to make sure that we concentrate on our games. And um, um, although the Lions are, are seven points clear at this stage, um, we know a couple of results. Uh, if we can perform well, uh, win the next four out of our five games and and maybe the Lions have a, have a bit of a, a bad run. Uh, you never know that the home final is still possible, um, but we're not thinking too far yet. We just want to make sure that we concentrate on our next game, which is the Dolphins this coming weekend. It's actually a massive weekend for us. The Dolphins and the Lions are two very good teams, and if we can have a successful weekend, that will put us into a, a very good position. No, I think the Dolphins is always a dangerous side. They were last year's winners. Um, they play a very ex explosive cricket. Um, they've got a lot of guys that are, are match winners within that squad. They're also probably going to be having Dwayne Bravo back into that team. So he will bolster up the, the bowling and the batting. Um, and it's, it's, for us, it's just making sure that we tick our boxes, making sure that we understand what we want to do on the day and look to really perform and do the basics uh, as best as we can. The one thing that's very evident of the, of the Dolphins is that they play high-risk cricket. So on their day, they could be very dangerous. Uh, if it all comes together, they, they post big totals. Uh, so we just got to make sure that uh, we've got our plans in order for, for Friday. They're a very dangerous team. Uh, we're not taking them lightly. Um, obviously, they had an off day on Sunday and, and was probably saved by the rain in the end. Um, so we got to make sure that we prepare well for, for Friday and, um, and, and make sure that we've got our plans in order. We've got the, the same squad. We've, we're going a lot with the, the young bowling attack and, and I think they've been doing really well. I think each game has come by and they've gained a lot of experience and, uh, and we're just offering that and they're growing nicely. There is a couple of guys sitting on the side, uh, a couple of big names, Justin Kemp, Rory Kleinfeld. So our squad is quite healthy at this moment in time. Um, but also, uh, I don't see too many changes um, from this winning team. Um, but you never know in this format, anything can happen. Um, we always said as long as the squad is nice and strong, um, it will give us a good chance. So at this moment in time, we've got a healthy squad. Now, Rory Kleinfeld still got a little Great niggle, which he's, he's busy working on in this week. He's, he's been bowling again. Um, so we, we're hoping to get a couple of fit, fit guys around and so that if any injuries, in, anything happens, we've got some options to choose from.